Hello, hello, hello. We got a double header today. We've got two DOD matches coming to you tonight. We've got some KTP Silver action starting with No Go Gaming Council versus Shut Up We Are Trying. And then after that, we have the quarterfinals of KTP Gold, where we will be watching uh, Thunder versus chill pills so we have the number six seed going against the number three seed uh in ktp gold now the other ktp gold match has already been played uh and they did not post the scores so i don't actually know who won that's fun uh, and that now Nogo is telling me the roster that they sent me is wrong. So, uh, my little pregame graphics that I like to do is, um, wrong. Thanks for that. That's fun. Uh, let's see if we can figure out who won that, that KTP gold one. Uh, let's see. Let's see the challenge. Maybe they didn't play it. Match details did not report the winner. Well, I am. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, the winner of this match is going to move on and play the number two seed, which is Icy Hot uh, for our KTP Gold one. For the first match today, we're looking at NoGo versus Shut Up We Are Trying. And this is NoGo right in the middle of KTP Silver. Shut Up We Are Trying down on their luck. But they missed a game last week, so maybe they can uh, string together two quick wins here uh, for that to see where they are. So let's look quick at Shut Up We Are Trying. That's uh, Sniper coming in. Hey, okay, let's look at Shut Up We Are Trying and their roster here. We have DB coming off uh, some inactivity for the past couple weeks. He will be taking up their Sniper Rifle, which has kicked Aim Tech over to a main rifle. Illusion keeping up his main rifle. Uh, Trance seems to have been, uh, is on the way out. Uh, so DB is on the way in, I guess. And Nicholson with his trusty third rifle. Uh, K-Rod picking up the heavy. He is coming off the bench. I don't know how active he has been, but he is playing tonight and he has played in a couple other matches as well. And then we have Stark, the tried and true heavy for Shut Up We Are Trying. Uh, like I said, they missed out on their Insomniac match last week. And so they uh, have a little question mark. They had a bye week, then they haven't played last week. They're on two weeks of rest, essentially. And then they are going to be playing the Shamil match against Nogo, uh, which is a tough order to do, right? So Nogo is pretty, pretty steady, pretty thing. Looking at who was playing in their warm up scrim, uh, because they didn't answer me to give me their starting lineup. So uh, this is based on what I saw in their scrim, which apparently is not correct. But anyway, here we go. No go, three and four. They're on a two-game losing streak, uh, so uh, not not where they want to be on the past couple weeks. Uh, uh, it looked like Koi was ringing, but he just confirmed with me that he is not ringing. Uh, so unfortunately, we do not get some gung ho unit in our lives. Uh, uh, Matthew, Apple, Sapphire, Deidre, they were all in that scrim. So I assume J Rod is coming in for Koi. I assume J-Rod will be playing. And then uh, their heavy usually a Spoon. Uh, so it might be Spoon or it might be Decaf coming off of the bench. We will find out, I guess, when we load in to that match. Uh, so that is looking like a kind of slam dunk here for what they're going. Then we've got our nice and trusty... DOD Shamil, and where's my game? And of course, OBS. There we go, OBS. 
I believed in you. Never had a doubt, Lovius. Let's look. Let's see. We're looking for Nicholson. Game info. Looks like they're still in a warm-up scrim. Fun. So anyway, let's launch in. Let's see here. This week's match, DoD Shamil, is a match that is a hot button issue in the community. Uh, people have some strong opinions on this match, and one of them is my opinion, which is this map is fun as hell. And I am in the minority. I understand that. Okay, but this map is very fun to me. This is one of the larger square footage maps that we play with. And to me, that makes it more interesting. So there are a few strong bottlenecks in this, uh, in this uh, map that can really, really make or break a team if they cannot bust through a bottleneck. The puddle room, this connector being one of them. So uh, you can you can get to the access first flag different ways, but both routes empty out into this puddle room, and there's an upper puddle room as well. And so it really can slog down here. Access can either get overrun through here because the access spawn is right over this way, or they can really put a nice little hold together to guard their last flag right here. The allies have a way to come in through the top, jump through slip, and jump down into to back behind into the church to try and grab this flag. Or they can try to come through the quad windows area. But to do that, they have to make the little jump from here into this window to then run down it, which we will see happen a few times. But the access have access right here. They come out of their spawn right here. Right, and they are able to put a nice uh, defense together on Shamil. Now, one of the things that a lot of people don't like about Shamil is the corners. A lot of these corners, this is an older map, a lot of these corners, the hitboxes are not great. The clipping is uh, a bit where it looks like you can should be able to walk through or see or shoot through something. There might be a hidden, uh, like this car right here, right? Theoretically, you should be able to shoot over the hood, but I think the hitbox of the car extends just a little bit higher than what the visual indicates which can really throw off some shots if you are trying to shoot up from car to this stack area or even if you're trying to pick off someone in bunker that can really come in and play uh, a or throw something, uh, a wrench in your plans. This door right here, you got to break with a bazooka, so we'll see if that ever happens. I highly doubt it. Uh, and then over here, we've got the wood area. Now up here, you get a car up here after the allies, or I'm sorry, the access uh, move in here. They get a car. They can really hold down the allies uh, coming from spawn uh, that, or the access coming. What what map am I on? This is allies spawn. This is allies first. So the access can really hold down the allies as they come around here. Uh, and then it's just a nice little jump. Uh, one of the best places is to prone right here. So you are, are kind of guarded from that wood area, but you're able to kind of defend that first flag. That's one of my favorite places. And this is why I like Shamil. Shamil becomes an egg to crack. It's not just run and gun, clap the flags along the way. The flags are kind of out of their way. Like this first flag is really kind of protected by this blown out building. And the radio room, the radio exit the wood exit, even moving all the way around. There are just many avenues of attack that you can go to try to get that last flag uh, if you are uh, moving around, if, you, if the allies are putting together a really nice defense. And so that's one of my favorite things about Shamil, and one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like it is because it is a smallish map in the terms of you don't have to run forever to get into a conflict, but it also is a very uh, varied map. There's variety here of what the strategies you can impose, and if one's not working, to try another one. Uh, but 
this map can also lead to a whole lot of stomping. Okay, there can be a whole lot of cap outs, or there can be almost no cap outs, depending on how evenly matched the teams are and how evenly matched their strategies are. If one team uh, has a strategy that is just working way better, they're going to end up getting a lot of cap outs because the timing is going to go. This wall, these walls right here, you can shoot through. Uh, so we'll see a lot of snipers and rifles probably try to shoot through these walls and try to get some picks through the wall. So don't be surprised if that occurs, if they are trying to uh, shoot a uh, car just randomly through walls, that's what they're going for. They're going for that nice little wall shot to prevent someone from being able to move up. The grenades on this map. Throwing a grenade into these quad windows, right? If you have what we call the god spawn, getting a grenade in there and getting your rush into either quad windows or to connector is one of the huge things that allies are able to do to set their tempo, whereas Axis are able to rush the factory and try to get into the stack area and and pick them off as they come around here. That's one of their rushes that they can do. And then from there, they can move into wood. And from wood, hit their first flag. With the spawn, for the allies not having a great... Ooh, well, we're never-never. With the spawn not having a great look at the first flag, it can really allow the Axis to make some movements that are not seen by the allies and can lead to some funny shenanigans happen at the first point. Never has a, a match, in my mind... Uh, or a map cause so much tension as this map. The, the just the even when it's not close, it feels very close. Uh, type map of when you're playing it, your heart gets going. It gets going, right? And so uh, I really like Shamil, and there are some remakes. I know Red Dog made a remake, and then Nine kind of picked up that torch and started trying to make a remake of this map. But I'm gonna be honest. This is one of my favorite maps because it causes such a change of pace in play. It's not a super fast map like Lennon. It's not a nade fest like uh, uh, Harrington. And it's not a, a kind of super spread out map like Railroad. It, it is a very large and yet small feeling map. And I love it. So let's see if we have any sort of confirmation of where we are playing we're playing in chicago of the thunder so i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect out of here and see if we can jump into that spectate ktp chicago thunder chicago let's go let's see where we are And there we are. It does look like J-Rod is in for this, uh, the match, even though he was not in for the warm-up scrim. That happens, you know, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., there is a difference of what you can make it for and what you can't. So let's talk specific players, huh? Let's talk about who needs to have a big game. On the side of uh, no-go, the people who really need to have a big game are J-Rod, since he's playing. So Jared and, uh, and to me, Deidro need to have their, I think, the two captains of this team. Maybe I'm wrong, but they both need to carry uh, no-go here through this map. They both need to take control of their routes, and I think uh, their routes are going to go based on where how those two are doing this map is a very big sniper map as well so if a sniper is uh not having a good game the other team really has to pick up some slack and it's sometimes very hard for them to pick up that slack because snipers have a lot of corners they can hold on this map and it can become very uh hard to get uh, unless you're unless you got a good bank grenade it can become very hard to get a sniper out of, say, the wood area from holding down, or maybe from that quad air, uh, that quad window off of every initial, they can really control that that factory area. And uh, we're still waiting on all of them. Remember, we're on a two-minute delay.
And so we'll see negative. from there. Nicholson, stop saying negative and go play the match. We are watching you play. You're not even in. You're in spectator with me. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, it looks like Decaf is coming off of the bench for Spoon. So Decaf will be playing. This is his first match in KTP Season 4. Uh, he is coming off of the no-go bench. We He doesn't even have his tag on. Look at that. They didn't even give him a jersey. need like a little mini game to play you know how like used to watch a lot of dota streams and while they were like searching for a match they'd always play like geo guesser or like slay the spire or something i need a little like dod mini game to play here called the hltv shuffle that's the game i'm gonna i gotta i gotta make it All right, it looks like we have all 12 in the server, so we should be getting a start here. We are looking no-go and shut up. We are trying. The real kicker for this map and these two teams is who is going to control the pace, and it should be no-go. No-go should fo focus a lot of their effort on controlling the pace of not only the match, but the map itself. They should be the ones applying pressure. They should be the ones trying to really uh, get that advantage, but they are having a bench player who has never played in a match this season this season that's the caveat right he's not brand new right so he hasn't played with them this season so that might throw off their timings it might throw off their communication and this map itself sometimes throws the teams through a loop because it is a change of pace type of map so we'll see who can hit the change up right we got people training all week for fastballs and curveballs and sliders and then all of a sudden shamil here it is an 85 mile per hour sinker coming in for you who is going to be prepared for it shut up we are trying it are are full of good players and yet they have not put it together as a team this season so maybe this change of pace is exactly what they need maybe their play styles will work better on a slower map we will find out uh the main people that really need to push shut up we are trying is illusion illusion often follows uh falls into the trap of dominating his lane illusion is a very strong rifle but Illusion does not have the map dominating presence that other strong rifles in this game does. And so, uh, the, the, to, to answer why he doesn't, I don't know. Uh, it might be come down to his rotations. It might be his grenades. He might, uh, be, he might not use both grenades to the same effect as other strong rifles like uh, Dorito or uh, CK or other people who are really good with grenades. Uh, and this map might allow him to have a bit more impact on other lanes since there are so many bottlenecks where multiple of the lanes have to come in and pass through and so illusion kind of sets the scale and also aim tech not on the sniper rifle so he is going to be uh kind of uh an impact player here on this on this regular rifle to see if he can actually you know like if if his domination from the sniper rifle can translate over to the grand Oh, a little nice jersey exchange there between Apple and DB. Just exchange guns. All right, looks like they have exec the config. We are uh, really close to starting this match now. 
and we are going to start with the ally, whoever gets the god spawn. That's who we are starting with. So allies, you have one person. There's one spawn s slot all the way on the left side of their spawn, and they get a nice rush into that stack before the Axis can get there. So that grenade, that timing, that rush is really uh, can control factory off of initial. So that's who we will be following as soon as they ready up. What is taking so long, gentlemen? Let's go. Oh, no-go. No-go decaf. We got the jersey on. He has put the jersey on. We got it. We have a full team of six. Now, the real question is, where are we waiting because decaf hasn't used moss before? That might be a big reason why we're waiting here. Uh, he might be trying to figure out moss. Fellas, I got another match after this. Let's go. All right, there we go. It appears decaf is ready to go. And no-go has hit. Ready. So here we go. Good luck. Have fun from both sides. Match is live. We are spawning in. Uh, let's see. K-Rod has the god spawn. Here we go. Let's see if he does it. Sometimes when the heavy gets the god spawn, they just forego it all together. And they just go their underpass route. Uh, it does not look like K-Rod is doing that. He is going for the initial grenade. He's throwing it into those quads. And he should be rushing into that connector. Uh, he decided he wanted the flag instead. His grenade does not get anyone. But he does find two right away. Gets J-Rod and Sapphire from that car alley. Uh, DB sees one in those quads. We get that little sniper duel going off here. Uh, except Illusion said no, no, no uh, fun allowed. Uh, and he jumped through, and Aintech is now capturing their first flag. No, he missed the flag. He's choosing not to capture that flag. Instead, he's going to ninja inside of the church. Stark, they have control. They can get a cap out right now. I don't know why they decided not to cap that underpass flag. But Stark is pushed all the way up. Um, Deidre over here, he is in the library trying to uh, hold it on. But Aintech, with that ninja, they did not know he was there turned out to be at a very good play by ninja and just like that k-rod gets the god spawn again so let's see if he gets the same impact that he had getting two kills right away before they can even get there and just like that shut up is up by 47 to 1 okay he uh k-rod gets sapphire with the grenade grabs that flag and instead of going car is now going to sit into connector where j-rod is able to get him as he swings out aim tech sitting here in front of bunker sees j-rod they are having a rifle duel here but uh apple and it looks like Deidre is over there from car they clean that up grab that uh that factory and now uh we see nicholson kill j-rod in puddle Deidre is going to take that pick and he sees Nicholson up in those uh, towers, decides he's not going to win that fight, and he backs off a bit. Meanwhile, Matthew holding a corner. It looks like he is scared of getting rushed. Illusion has a car sitting in the upper of uh, the stacks, waiting for someone to come through those uh, quad windows. Stark gets a double kill in Puddle. J-Rod knows he's in Puddle, so he's going to be holding this. Sees a grenade fly in. Illusion gets those two kills, and uh, Alice or J Rod gets one. Tries to wall for a second, does not know where they are. K Rod is sitting in the puddle, just waiting for him to come around. And the Axis are all congregated on their first flag. DB jumping through those quad windows. We have two people up in those quad windows for the Allies, so they are going to try to come around. Uh, Illusion gets the double kill, killing both DB and Apple. Uh, one friendly fire, one not. So, But uh, the allies will take that because it allows Illusion to still have control. And Illusion's going off on that first flag. Gets another kill, and then J-Rod kills him right before he is able to capture that flag. 
Here we have Aimtech with the other. Uh, he's through those quad windows. Gets one on Apple. Matthew then is tipped off to where he is and scopes in. Nicholson coming through underpass. It looks like he's been running underpass this whole time. Stark, nice angle with the bar. Gets two as they come around. Decaf on from the upper kills Stark in the back. And Nicholson is able to sneak up the stairs and get Decaf uh, out of his hiding spot. Sapphire running up to those uh, those windows and <laughs> runs right into DB scoped rifle. Apple, on the other hand, going into puddle to see what he can see. J-Rod clears out Nicholson from the library. And Apple uh, see, doesn't see it. Sees one down on car alley. Let's see if... Oh, another grenade coming in. Let's see if Apple is going to... If they're going to win this peak war. He does not know where that second is. There is a grand walling him from bunker. So now we have a peak battle. And Aim Tech wins that peak. Matthew, on the other hand, sitting there in connector. He saw he saw Aim Tech was unable to kill him. J Rod is finally picks one up, but K Rod going off, uh, and J Rod holding the line here with his car in Car Alley. Misses his shot on the guy up on underpass. I think that is Nicholson. Uh, Nicholson gets him down to 10 HP, and now J Rod has rotated over to that connector area. We see Sapphire, <laughs> Sapphire with the uh, the the third rifle plight, where you're usually the first one through and the first one dead. Sapphire gonna hold these this puddle, hold this connector. That is her job. Uh, she is trying to prevent them from rushing that first flag. Stark has pushed up. Uh, the main thing the Axis are missing right now are grenades. That is their main thing. They are not getting the grenade kills that they that Axis are normally get on this map. They are relying solely on gunplay. And they are losing the gunplay battle. Uh, J-Rod, on the other hand, not losing the gunplay battle. He is, uh, like I said, he is going to be the one that kind of pulls his uh, team through that factory. Okay, DB holding from top stack, holding that quad window. Nicholson sitting up in the double windows on underpass. This is also one of my favorite spots to sit, but I don't sit with a grand up there. Um, Stark pushing up, and those Nicholson is behind him, so he can get a little aggressive. Uh, Sapphire waiting for him, and here comes the Axis grenades, and all it did was hurt Sapphire. We got three Axis in Puddles, and that's one of the problems when you have a bunch of people in Puddle like that. Get a friendly fire, and then all of a sudden Nicholson takes them out. And that's an easy two for nothing for Shut Up We Are Trying. Detro grabbing the Unter Officer. Uh, and Matthew has also switched over to the Unter Officer. So DB has won the Sniper Battle uh, hard enough that Matthew has decided he's going to be a better use of his team if he is not scoped in, if he is running instead. Matthew misses the close-range shot on K-Rod. K-Rod, having more than one shot, is able to clean him up. Nicholson, 26 health, sitting in those double windows. J-Rod says, hey, Nicholson, I see ya. Smack! Okay, uh, Stark throws his grenade. He's bouncing it off, making sure they don't lose this puddle or this underpass area. Stark gets one. Decraft going to do his little poke. Uh, did not see Stark, and Stark peeks right at the right time. Grabs a triple kill. Stark is going off right now, 12 and 3. 66 uh, going to the top of, uh, I don't know what you guys call that. I, uh, there are too many stacks in this map. And he jumps over into those quad windows. There's a detonate in front of him, but he saw Apple kill aim tech. So Stark is going to go slow. He knows Apple is over this direction. Uh, and then Apple gets picked by the sniper. So now Stark has a clear route. Sees one person down there. And Sapphire is able to kill Stark, preventing him from trying to get that ninja cap. Illusion in Puddle here. He has a teammate, throws his grenade. We'll see if he tries to wall. No, he's going to go up. Uh, is he going to go all the way across the library? It looks like he is. And right now we have a, dem a, a commanding lead uh, being built by Shut Up We Are Trying. They are getting a lot of tick points. With that uh, cap out they already have, they are getting a lot of control on this map. This is a low-scoring map. 
Okay, this is a map that uh, can be high scoring if one team is kind of uh, steamrolling. But as you see, Shut Up, we are trying to are winning the kill battle by uh, 16 kills, which is a lot in Day of Defeat. And they are uh, still only have one cap out. So this game, this map is really all about who can control the uh, the the factory and the underpass area. And Shut Up, we are trying has not let go of either in this ma in this match so far. Decaf playing a little poke lore with Stark. Uh, Apple says, I, I got a better gun for that. Nicholson throws a grenade in, kills Decaf, and then is able to pick up Apple. DB kills Sapphire probably in that, uh, that quad area. And just like that, we have four dead for no-go. They respawn, and they are sprinting back. DB only got four health, but Aimtech is able to jump through and grab that cap out. Okay, Stark has the god spawn at this point. So far, Shut Up has had three initials, and they've had heavies in the god spawn in both times. Not necessarily what you want, because that leaves someone going underpass kind of by themselves, unless another rifle rotates over. Stark gets that nice little sprint grenade, but does not get a kill. A lot of times, the Axis will delay their running to quads just because they know that grenade is coming most of the time. Uh, we get a nice kill with Apple. We see one kind of in the... Uh, the bunker area, which Apple picks up, but DB from top stack. Oh, nice shot by Illusion as well. And the allies now have control of that factory area. And Nicholson gets the kill on Decaf. Deidro sitting in top of Puddle. But shut up, we are trying to have control of both flags again. So this is exactly what I thought would happen on this map, just the opposite. I thought Nogo would be doing this to shut up, would be controlling the pace, controlling the map, and instead shut up, uh, we're trying, are definitely trying hard today because they are in complete control, and we see Stark, no one home, and so he just says, oh, no one's here? Great, I will just sprint and grab that flag, and again, Stark gets the god spawn again. So we'll see, he got that nice grenade off to begin with, last start up. Let's see if he does the same thing this time. It looks like he is. He gets that nice throw in, and he's going to be rushing in. Now, there was a car waiting for him as he came around, so this time he's going to be a little different. Go into that guy takes back. And, uh, and Stark is able to control the recoil. It does not go straight up for him as he gets one nice kill on there. Decaf off the bench and back to spawn. Uh, Deidre was the only one left alive. And he is unable to kill Illusion. That's frustrating when the SDG does that. Uh, very frustrating when you feel like you should have had that kill. Decaf does not see K-Rod come around the corner. Matthew, on the other hand, forego forewent his, uh, his sniper rifle for the Hunter. And it has not necessarily paid off for him. Uh, but he feels he's on the back foot too much to be able to sit there and snipe effectively. Sapphire, two health. Literally two health sitting there. She is praying to everything she can, throwing those grenades. Matthew sprints up, instantly taken out by DB. Stark might be going for the cap out here. Aim Tech definitely is. Stark and K Rod, they get it. And uh, who was that missed the shot? That had to have been uh, J-Rod missed the shot, allowing Aimtech to sneak his way in there and grab that flag. Nicholson with the God Spawn this time. We have a rifle now with the God Spawn. Gets his grenade, throws it. Now the thing with the rifle having God Spawn is they get two grenades, right? So as you see, Nicholson, instead of sprinting into that uh, connector area, chooses to throw a second grenade. Does not work out for him, but that is something that is different. Uh, and right away, shut up, we're trying to get five kills. Uh, so this is becoming uh, all six are dead for no-go. Shut up, we're trying to know they have a clear path to that flag. And boom, a cap out. And so right now, this is... Uh, I don't think anyone, I don't even think Shut Up We Are Trying realized it was going to be like this. Stark with the God Spawn again. Let's look at uh, J-Rod as we come out of here. He looks to be in the front of his team. 
He is running into that puddle connector area. Uh, Shut up, we are trying. Is just laying it on thick right now. He sees the rush from Godspawn, and he gets the shot on Stark. But the grenade from Illusion waiting for him. We see DB up top. DB uh, knows he's sniping against an Unter, so he is playing extremely, extremely uh, peak heavy. Uh, he is showing his entire body. He's not peeking. He's not doing little cheater picks. He knows that he's got it <laughs> because Shut Up We Were Trying are doing whatever they want right now against uh, our, our no-go gaming council. Nicholson with the God Spawn again. Throws that grenade, grabs it, does a little sprinty sprint, tosses it into those windows, but Axis really haven't been going those windows. We haven't seen one kill off of those yet because the Axis have just chosen not to do that. Deidro has picked up the sniper rifle, so Deidro has decided uh, he was not getting it done with his Unter rifle or Unter officer, so he picked up his own sniper rifle. He's going to give that a shot. <laughs> J-Rod proning on the tank. 3 HP. Now, some of these maps, that fire does damage, <laughs> so that could actually get uh, get them. Decaf, double kill on uh, the rushing heavies, so we'll see if he tries to take some map control. He uh, No, he did not, so he got that nice double kill, did not take map control pushing up, instead opted to hold that puddle room to make sure that the fountain factory side did not go. Sapphire, on the other hand, getting a nice double kill. She is now pushing up into that wood room area, going to prime a grenade and throw it in. So, uh, does not know exactly the spawn timers, just covering her bases here. And unfortunately, looked the wrong way. K-Rod was waiting for her. Nicholson gets one kill on decaf, and just like that, uh, Deidro waiting for him, though. I was going to say, just like that, allies have full control over underpass again, but Deidro said not so fast. Stark sitting here right next to the flag. Uh, we'll see if the... Oh, he does get him. Deidro with the peak, but Stark was waiting for him before Deidro could get that crosshair around. And so now Stark sees another one, and Sapphire says, Oh, not me. I don't have a scope. You don't have to wait for me to scope in. Take a stoss. K-Rod over here. Uh, J-Rod pushed all the way up to the Allied first before K-Rod is able to uh, clean that up. And then Matthew pushed up from wood, uh, wood here. DB gets killed by his own teammate, and Matthew has moved up to the top where a grenade was waiting just for him. So a little too loud on the run up there. Uh, same with uh, 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 AimTech, a little too loud running over there. Apple knew he was coming around. And so this is very strange. We have multiple, multiple allies just, like, camping there first because the Axis have put the pressure on through factory that way. AimTech clears up Apple out of that uh, that wood room after DB missed his shot, and Stark just he's, Stark is in the in in the wall climbing top spot to try to make sure no one can cap that first flag. And four kills right away, four kills uh, uh, for the allies, so they have should be able to get a whole bunch of map control back. Apple and Sapphire are there to try to clean up any rushers. But just like that, we see Shut Up We Are Trying take back that destroyed factory. And Stark, I don't know what you're doing, bud. You've taken yourself out of the match. So scared they're going to capture the, your first flag. Uh, you have kind of removed yourself from the game at this point. Decaf, here's a bunch of running around him. Finds Nicholson. Nicholson unable to get the shot off. Apple kills uh, AimTech, but DB is in the quad and is able to kill uh, Decaf from above. Apple kills Illusion out of the quads, but DB is still there. They do not... I don't know if they know DB's up here. They do. He sprinted across, but DB did get that kill. And, and we get into a little poke war here. Apple does win that, but Nicholson walls Apple to death right afterwards, allowing the allies to maintain control of this destroyed factory. Stark is in Puddle Room, waiting for the access. This is uh, the, the prime camping spot if you got a bar. If you do not feel like rushing, this is a very good spot to sit. He hears them above him. 
and there it goes. Decaf jumps through the puddle, and Stark waiting just for him. J-Rod is above. He is trying to find, and he does. He was trying to find Stark. He did not know exactly where he was. Goes down the stairs, finds him, and then shoots a, a DB through that broken door. So DB did not look behind him. Illusion gets a nice double kill. Deidro, uh, Illusion killed by Decaf. I thought Deidro was about to take Decaf out as well, but luckily did not. And this is it. This is basically what it's coming down to. We got a minute left. It's basically, can Nogo prevent another cap out? That's pretty much all that is going on here. They're just trying to hold out for another minute, trying to mitigate the score, whatever they can, because I do not believe that they are going to try to push up for a cap out for fear that they get capped out on again. And they're basically, I think, punting to their allied half to try to see if they can uh, scrounge back a comeback from that second half. Meanwhile, Aimtech gets a double kill in Puddle, and he is running through. He's going. He gets one, and he is unable to get that second. But K Rod and DB do. So uh, Axis, we're in full defense mode, and Shut Up, we're trying. Said that's okay. Be in full defense mode. We will get multiple kills on our rifles and still be able to cap out. Illusion and Aimtech both with double kills there, oh, paving the way. For them to get that last cap out. And we got 20 seconds left. A grenade from Stark off the God Spawn kills Deidro as he comes through with the sniper. Matthew, on the other hand, uh, trying to pick that up, but J Rod gets the kill first. And Sapphire steals a kill from Matthew. I feel bad for Matthew. We just saw two or three kills stolen from him but <laughs> as he went. And there we go. That is half. 359 to 24. So, not the half. That no-go gaming was uh, thinking they were going to have. So we're at 359 to 24. And this has turned into a uh, comeback for the ages here if they can do it. Shut Up We Are Trying has given themselves a very, very commanding lead on this map so far. And I gotta figure out what in my config makes my ears die every time it reloads the map, but there we are. So what went wrong? What happened? What went wrong for No Go Gaming Council there? What uh, what were they trying to do that was not working? They are playing with a bench player. Decaf coming off of the bench and didn't have a great half. Uh, access heavy half is really not great. Uh, the bars have a much better route than the than the STGs do when they meet uh, because bars have. Uh, both upper and lower uh, ground that they can run to, whereas the SCG has one corner that they can swing around. So what actually happened to Nogo? What prevented them from having any sort of impact on the game? And I think it's just the when one side of Nogo got kills, the other side got run over. They couldn't put it together. They couldn't both sides of the map couldn't push at the same time. Uh, we saw one time where the factory was held by Nogo, and they were pushing up, and they were in the Allies' wood room. They were around the first flag to the point that Stark took himself out of the map to go up into that uh, wall sitting spot. But the the Allies still had full control of the underpass side, so they were never scared. Matthew with the Godspawn here. We are starting our second half. Matthew's still running that uh, Staff Sergeant, so he's decided he is not sniping against Debo at all. He's running, gets that second, that gets that grenade, running that Carbine, and is able to kill Aimtech with the Carbine and cap that factory flag. DB, though, sniping from Connector. We also saw uh, 
the other one, Matthew gonna act like he primed a grenade, but Illusion was waiting for him with the car. K-Rod takes a grenade to the face, 47. J-Rod with a double kill on his grenade. Stark taken out by a grenade as K-Rod sits there. And Decap with the falling bar shot. Pretty, pretty shot on to K-Rod. K-Rod unable to track him before that bar got him in the face. Aintech over here with the uh, with the car takes out Deidro. Thinks there's another one over there, so he is going to act like he primes a grenade, and he's going to hold it. Then he is going to decide, oh, he did come out, and go over there and clean up that decaf from Puddle. Stark over here has a bar coming down. Looks like he is doing some bunny hop shenanigans, priming a grenade, throwing it up into that house exit. And here we're going to get our first view, our very first view of Radio Room for this match. No, we're not. Stark is looking all over the place. Uh, can't see anything there, Stark, but that is an angle. You you can choose to hold that angle. That is an angle you can hold. <laughs> Deidre doing the same, where you're hoping to see one pixel and just wall through whatever's in front of you. But the thing is, if you can wall through it, they can wall through it as well, so it doesn't provide any protection. <laughs> Nicholson, the crouch Doss, coming around the corner. Uh, but Decaf waiting for him around the corner. So uh, Nicholson with one kill before he dies. Stark, on the other hand, gets a nice spray onto Decaf. And Decaf's shoulder as he was peeking. J-Rod picks up his car. Running into bunker area. He's looking all over. He thinks someone's in here. He's running with a pistol. And no one is in there, so... Oh, he's behind him! The hunter has become the hunted! and But, Illusion unable to clean out J-Rod there. J-Rod gets that nice pick. But, uh, Aimtech from Quad Windows peeks down into bunkers himself. DB holding that lower stack. See a grenade from Aimtech fly up into upper stack. And then, uh, DB sees Matthew come around and, clean, and gets that kill. And Aimtech rushing into the Allies' wooded area. Gets one, and does not get the second apple with a nice no-scope. So, we see a musical chair on the Allied Sniper. Usually, Matthew is a very good sniper, but decided he doesn't have it tonight. We saw Detro try to pick it up, and now Apple is running it for this half. Nicholson pushed all the way up. We'll see if he's going for the flag cap. Gets one kill. Gets two kills, but uh, Decaf is in safety mode. Gets Nicholson and Deidro as well. Gets Illusion. So, uh, the uh, no-go is able to hold on to their first flag, preventing that cap out. And uh, everyone else is able to respawn. And we see a grenade from J-Rod as he's nading that upper wood area. And no-go successfully defends that cap out. From occurring, so we'll see how Shut Up We're Trying mounts their next try. We see Stark crouch walking through Radio Room. This is our first look at Radio Room this half, or this game rather. <laughs> I love it. I love when you when you don't feel like reloading, so you just pick up the bar right in front of you because you know they didn't kill anyone. K Rod says, "Excuse you, this is my flag." Kill Stark on his way. To make sure that K-Rod is the one that caps out. It's always funny when you BM your teammates that way. It is never funny when you BM your teammates that way. And then die and you're not able to cap out yourself. That's really funny for people watching you. Not funny for you. K-Rod over here rushing into his underpass route. He is going. He's rushing. Okay, so he rushes all the way down to the flag. <laughs> Matthew drops down, did not know K-Rod was in front of him, so or behind him, rather. So K-Rod uh, gets a kill, but Deidro, on the other hand, played slow and able to kill uh, K-Rod, which cleans up underpass for no-go. Nicholson crouch carring uh, Deidro as he comes around. This is all a game of angles. This is a map of angles. It is a game of angles. So angles are doubly important on Shamil. 
And we see Decaf with a nice angle up top, is able to kill one. There is a car that knows where he is now, so now this becomes very dangerous for Decaf. He sees two ones there. He gets one more kill before Nicholson takes him out, and Nicholson is left all alone. So Decaf got a nice double kill, but there were three people, and Decaf was all by himself. So Nicholson gets the flag, eats a grenade, waiting for some to come around, and Tetro gets him right as he looks the other way. Apple going for the upper snipe. That is a very tough position to be in with a sniper rifle. You are at a very strong disadvantage. And we saw that happen. Uh, it just turns around. I think that was... Who was that? Was that Illusion? Just turns around. Nope, that was Aintech. Just turns around and smacks him. Sapphire found a car for herself. Gonna prime a grenade, throw it in the puddle. I think that was Nicholson's card, to be honest with you. Sapphire decides she does not like that angle. They're going to run away from the uh, the grenades and try to get that rifle peek, but K-Rod's STG spam is enough to kill Sapphire through the corner. Dietro gets a nice kill on K-Rod, so it's basically down to Stark and Nicholson at this point. Stark gets is able to kill one, Nicholson's grenade gets a second. And they move in and capture that underpass. Matthew is pushed up through quads. Gets one as Illusion. Gets two on Aimtech. And there were two more waiting for him. Oh, very nice rush by Matthew. But unfortunately, he just came around to four axes waiting for him. Nicholson pushed up in the wood, gets a nice double kill with the Stoss. 15 health on Nicholson, throws it down for a grand. This is the problem is he only has 15 health, so any grenade that's near him will kill him. And he's very susceptible to getting walled at this point. Uh, we hear Matthew spamming with that carbine as Nicholson sits in upper wood. They might know he's there. We see Apple come around, miss his no scope. And Apple is able to get a double kill on Matthew and Nicholson. Not exactly what he wanted, but uh, to kill two people with one missed pistol clip is always impressive. Sapphire able to kill DP. Sees a grenade fly right there. By the grace of God, she is alive still. The second grenade all does injure her, but she is still alive. But the, gr the car shot does not. She does not have protection from that. Aim Tech gets a nice one deeg, and then J-Rod is able to clean him up. So, uh, right now, Shut Up We Are Trying are throwing bodies, trying to get that map control. Nogo is able to prevent those little pushes, but they themselves are not able to get that map control moving up. Uh, if either team can push as a team, that's going to be better for them. If Shut Up We Are Trying are truly trying to take it, they need to wait up. Uh, their respawns are slightly staggered. They need to wait up and push as six instead of this little one or two at a time. Oh, we see a prone car shot. Miss. Oh, no. DB trying to get that nice no scope. Does not get the no-scope, but pro uh, scopes in and sends a bullet into J-Rod. J-Rod prone with the car and still miss. That feels bad. Nicholson over here, 10 health, running through factory. Gonna grab the flag here. Nope, not gonna grab the flag. Instead goes for a kill and doesn't even get the kill. So, uh, does not get either. Deidro sitting over here at car alley. <laughs> drops a bar for a Stoss? Okay. You do you, Deidre. Illusion, 22 healths, ate a grenade in those quad windows. Now is basically just waiting to see if someone runs around that corner. The art of peeking and winning, when to know how to peek and the timing of all that is something that truly escapes me. I truly cannot get that down. Decaf gets a nice kill on K-Rod running through. Sapphire sitting here with Decaf, so they should have a nice little push here. DP7 health sitting in an upper puddle with a scope. 
<laughs> he sees Nicholson run in and gets to get absolutely obliterated. Nicholson has switched over to that MP40 from the sauce, so he has decided an automatic is the way he wants to go for this half. We are halfway through the half, so uh, we are three quarters of the way through this match. And right now, uh, Shut Up We Are Trying still have a lead, uh, not only from last half, but they have a lead this half, let alone their 300 point domination from last half. And so it looks like it's just kind of shut up we we're trying or just kind of holding serve, if you will. They're just trying to, if they get a cap out, that's all well and good. But they know they have no need to over push, to over commit themselves. Nicholson, oh, luckily got that shot missed for Nicholson. Nicholson runs all the way, trying to hold that corner with a spray of the MP40. But Sapphire gets a double kill and uh, before she is cleaned up. J-Rod himself gets a double kill in the wood area, tries a nice little cheater peek shot with the car because uh, he there's someone in those quad windows, but DB is actually below the quad windows. Oh, nice flick from DB onto J-Rod as J-Rod sneaks her in. He misses his second shot. Let's see if he can get another one. And he cannot. Apple is able to clean him up from that bunker area. Apple pulls out his pistol. Uh, Illusion, with his cover, is able to get the kill on Apple, though. And we see, again, shut up, just holding serve, right? This is all they're wanting to do. They are wanting to make sure Nogo cannot push. Even though Nogo has to push, like, what, five or six times uh, for it to truly matter, shut up, we're trying, isn't even going to let him do once. And if the map is open to them, they're going to move up. So we see K-Rod capture that underpass. Him and his route partner are moving into that radio room. That is Aim Tech, it looks like. Aim Tech has uh, picked up, he's, go he's going upper with his car. K-Rod priming a grenade. They are both know they are there, okay? So uh, K-Rod going to run in for that first flag. J-Rod kits him, but the flag was captured, and, and there were no allies there to cap it back. J-Rod was a little too far away, and DB is able to capture that thing. And that is another cap out for Shut Up, We Are Trying. So, like I said, they were just trying to hold serve, but if the map opens up to them, they're going to take it, right? So they're going to move up. They get that second, or, or yeah, I think the second cap out for this half. Deidro over here, pushing through underpass. He's going to go the right side. Gets a nice little jump down. And we see Shut Up just completely dominate on the side of the factory. Deidro, very careful not to cap that flag. Does not want to give the, the fact that he is pushed up through uh, underpass. And that works because his grenade was able to find aim tech. Decaf, though, uh, they know you're pushed up. At this point, Decaf should have hung back and captured that flag. Not like the tick points are truly going to matter, though. K-Rod kills one in Puddle. Falls down. K-Rod had a dominant first half. This half, he's been a little bit more pedestrian. But like I said, Axis STG, the heavy map, the Axis side of uh, Underpass, is one of the worst routes in the game. We see Deidro come in through, gets uh, aim tech, and Deidro is able to pick him up. Uh, Stark going quad windows. Stark has decided he does not want to go underpass anymore. Apple wins that pistol duel. K-Rod then kills Apple. This has been a lot of back and forth, right? A lot of trades going on. Matthew with his carbine. Not having a great, but he pulls out the knife. He can redeem everything. If he gets this knife kill, and he does! He gets the knife kill on K-Rod. Falling knife blades. That is the play of the game. I don't care if they lose. Matthew wins the match. He is there. The, we got a falling ninja from the sky. Kills K-Rod with a stab to the jugular. Stark. Very nice tracking with that SCG. Kills Deidro. Uh, thinks there's one in the windows, and there is one in the windows. Uh, unfortunately, he checked the wrong window, and Decaf is able to kill him there. Nicholson does uh, avenge him, and it looks like the Axis, shut up, we're trying, should have control over this underpass. But Sapphire is here, and unfortunately, Sapphire goes to prime a grenade right as they throw a grenade at her, which... You know, she lost that battle. DB, nice sniper shot on Apple from quads. Deidro here to uh, prevent the push from underpass. Oh, 
and Stark and Deidre. This is just a game of trades at this point. A game of Josh trades. Corey Price, my man. One of the main DoD streamers himself coming in with this, the, the uh, sub. And then Caleb subbing to his, the channel that he runs a talk show on. On brand. Sapphire, one HP, girl. You have been on the edge all game this this game. You have been low health every time I've seen you. She is walling that, that door. She, someone is in there. It's Aim Tech. Aim Tech's in that door, and Sapphire knows it, but sees a grenade fly right by her face, and one HP. Any grenade near you is going to kill you, uh, and Sapphire was not long for the world once that grenade passed by her head. Stark, 26 health. That means he took probably a grenade uh, damage, and he is pushing into that radio. He has the lowest health, uh, so he is going to push up. And K-Rod is going to hang back because K-Rod probably has more health than he does. Stark gets one kill on Decaf and gets a shot on Dedidro. And then K-Rod cleans Dedro up. Perfect team play from K-Rod and Stark there. And Stark and K-Rod here, 100 health, right? Is now pushing up to that first play. That was very nice heavy play from Shut Up We Are Trying. K-Rod hears them coming around, gets one, caps the flag, uh, does not get the second, and there is the DB was a little too far away to get that flag cap on uh, Destroyed Factory. And J-Rod with the knife kill on Aim Tech! We got two knife kills in one half! Nogo has decided they're going for style points, and I am here for it. But, three minutes left, I don't, you know, as many style points as they have, they're, they are they are down by about 400 points. And on a map where I think each cap out is 40, 50 points, that is a big task for only three minutes left to, for them to go. They're going to have to go balls to the wall here, but K-Rod says no, gets a nice double kill. Illusion <laughs> runs right into a bar. K-Rod himself runs in thinking that uh, Decaf was reloading, and he was right. But Deidre was behind him. Deidre does get that double kill, killing his teammate, though. And Aim Tech has decided he's switching up the routes. He's sick of the underpass not being capped, and he is going. He's taking matters into his own hand. This is probably the second or third time we've seen him run underpass. And Sapphire with a nice grenade. Uh, but Stark is there. Eight health from the grenade blowing up in his face. And Decaf is there to kill Stark. And so we hear we see K Rod pushing up into this radio room again. Gets a nice kill on Deidro. Knows there's one more. Finds Decaf. Gets a double kill. Pushing up. Is he going to go upper or lower? He has gone lower every single time, and Sapphire was there for him. But Illusion, coming from the other side, gets that third cap out of the half. We are adding insult to injury at this point, even though Nogo is the one with the style points. They are not the ones with the actual points on the board. That is shut up. We are trying. Commanding lead on allies. Uh, a commanding lead on access. This has been nothing but shut up. We are trying all game my favorite thing uh, i don't know if the fire did that but it, there in some maps the fire does damage i assume a grenade blew up brought apple down to five hp but i would be very tickled if it was the tank fire and we see k-rod rushing through factory grabbing that bar getting shot by uh, matthew goes tries to do a little rink -a dink there uh but the the rest of the allies were there The allies are able to clear out their first flag, and Decaf going in to capture that underpass, while J-Rod gets the destroyed factory. And here we go, 15 seconds, Aim Tech gets a, gets a kill, throws a grenade. It's all over but the crying at this point. Deidre throwing a grenade in, K-Rod winning that battle. Decaf getting a nice kill right at the end there. And we see J-Rod dropping a 34 bomb, but unfortunately not enough 
to carry the team. This was nothing. This was all shut up. We were trying all game, and uh, we saw that come through. All right, so here we are. Shut up. We are trying. Uh, they are currently the lowest seed uh, that of still making the playoffs. NOA will be eliminated. They will not make the KTP Silver playoffs. It will be an 18 playoff all in one bracket. We learned today. Shut up. We are trying. Currently slotted for last seed. Have maybe decided that they don't want to be last seed, and they have really they really turned it around for that map uh that was that was pure domination from shut up shut up we are trying no go never had control never once had control there was literally only one time where they had any sort of push from factory and uh shut up we are trying did not fall prey to that they were there they were hiding they were ready stark was all the way up on top of the buildings he said absolutely not Okay, and so basically they were <laughs> that no go. Unfortunately, just Matthew gave up that sniper almost immediately. He he lost a few a few sniper battles and said nope, not today, and switched over to running both the MP40 and the carbine, and honestly had very very little impact on those guns. So uh, it it was one of those rough times uh, for no go. Nothing they they made multiple adjustments and none of them worked so i'm sure that was not the most fun match for them but congratulations to shut up we are trying a very very strong showing on shamil uh shamil will not be a playoff map though so like i said some teams are very good at the change of pace map it appears shut up we are trying is one of those teams but they're gonna have to uh get a little get a little uh uh, uh, hopefully this lights a fire under them that they can uh, make up some ground on the other maps, especially when we hit that playoff area.